Hello there, guys, girls, gamers, everyone. I'm sorry, I bumped my mic. Um, we are back in a new episode of Bionic Heart 2. The sequel to the infamous Bionic Heart. <clears throat> I'm terrible sorry today. Eh, my, my voice, uh, it's cold outside. So I got a little bit of a cold. A little bit of a cold. So yeah, we left off with Luke being on a shuttle and this is the start of it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just entered the orbit around Mars and are currently preparing to descend towards Hellas Planatia. We will land at Artenia near starboard in 26 minutes. Please prepare to return to your seats. A colony on Mars, so it's real. Tom always claimed it was, but I didn't believe it until now. If you need to use the bathrooms, now is your last chance before the landing. I didn't believe it when I saw the Mars shuttle. I didn't believe it when I saw the red planet slowly grow through my window. Um, quick question, guys. Are you seeing any windows? I do not. But hey, it's fancy. It's animated. It's animated. Only now, as we're about to land in less than half an hour, I do believe it is real. The crew of the Mars Shuttle Seneca wishes to inform you that you have five minutes until you need to fasten your seatbelts again. Earth to Mars in 23 hours, and you even get to stretch your legs a little. Amazing, isn't it? Was he always called Tom Sparks? I don't know. I know what Luke was Luke Black. I guess so. I mean, the fact that it is possible to travel to Mars is amazing in itself, but that it's re even reasonably comfortable. comfortable. Well, I could have done without being pushed into my seat for six hours non-stop after we took off, and then for another six hours, so twelve hours. For someone so well informed about the Mars colony, you know amazingly little about physics. Well, I do know that the shuttle had to accelerate and decelerate at some point, but they could have made it much more comfortable. You could have taken the narcotic they offered you. And miss my first time off the planet? Never. Then stop complaining. Jeez, you're so stingy. No wonder why you and Helen are having problems. No, she left me. In the in the prequel, she left me. Uh. Uh, sorry, that came out differently than I meant to. So, Tom, she left before you! I don't answer and look at Hell instead. She's still sleeping, the narcotic works well on her. I have to remember that for the next dinner date. That doesn't go so well. Maybe I slip her a few pills and a drink and I have a peaceful evening. We told the robotic crew of the shuttle that she was afraid of flying and because of that wanted something that could let her sleep through the trip. The robots didn't ask questions, they performed a quick medical check, decided that she was in good enough condition and had her breath in some gas. Helen hasn't moved since we took off. This is important information. Though I think she's slowly coming back now, her eyes are starting to move behind her lids. Oh my god, has Game got so much exposure? Or is she just dreaming? Yeah, that could be a REM sleep face. They have you some knowledge, YouTube. REM sleep is when you are in the deep sleep, when you are dreaming, and then you move your eyes. That's that's just REM sleep. But if you're given narcotics, you don't have a REM sleep because you are unconscious. And so, no. She's either gone from unconscious to sleeping, or she's coming back. What's up? You look disturbed. Helen, I think she's waking up. Yes, that's disturbing indeed. Whoa, too early. Tom quickly presses the service button over his seat. Yes, sir. We need another dose of narcotic in row 7. Our friend, the one with the flight, flight and anxiety, is about to wake up. I'm afraid that's no longer possible, sir. We're about to descend. The crew cannot provide service during landing procedure because it's so dangerous for robots to be... Not strapped in. I mean, yeah. Oh, damn, what we'll do? Wait, let me handle this. 
God, I hope I can handle this. Good thing Helen isn't really afraid to fly. And this lo at least looks a little like a plane. Uh, look, we can't have her make a fuss. She starts blurting out something that makes people suspicious of us. They might double check some falls on these. I thought you said they were good even when checked. They're good when checked, yes, but when they're double checked, then you're in double trouble. Ha! Huh. Tom shakes his head, looking very serious. Mm, Lou. Uh oh, she's waking up, gotta do something. Hush, hun, it's okay, everything's fine. Mm, so, do you see, we in bed? Yes, hun, we're in bed. Everything is alright. Don't worry, sleep a little longer and... We are now about to begin our descent. Please return to your seats and fasten your seat belts. Uh... Ah, that damn robotic voice. Now Helen knows something is up. So, wasn't, you know, never mind. It's the future. Do something quickly before she starts giving us away. I'm on it, I'm on it. Just whack her over the head with something. Mm, what is this? Uh, where are we? Oh, there's music. Shh, relax, no need to worry. I can just, you know, sit that out until we dock. Or I could just wait until I see what happens when the ship reaches the station. Maybe a nice explosion. Maybe nothing. Maybe the ship gets right through. A voice in the plane? Almost. 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 This is why I was so dizzy. Sweetheart, it's okay. You slept through the entire flight. Flight? So we are on a plane. We are on a shuttle to Mars. We're about to land on the Mars colony. Mars macht mobil bei Arbeit und Spiel. I'm sorry, that's that's like advertising for Mars. Other 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 chocolate bars are away, eh, bro? Yes, Mars. Mars. Strange place for a vacation. Uh but Mars is nice and dry, isn't it? No rain. Yes, no water, no rain, no atmosphere. Uh yes, no rain. That's nice. Helen is snuggling against my shoulder. I think she's falling asleep again. No, wait. Uh oh, her eyes are opening in surprise. What, Mars? Our sudden outburst draws the attention of pretty much everyone around us. People are staring, starting to stare at us. Come, damn it, come right down. Darling, please quiet down. You're upsetting everybody else on the shuttle. Now I remember that crazy plan of yours to go to Mars. Did you bring that other woman too? No, she isn't here, sweetheart. Please, relax. Everything's fine, ladies and gentlemen. She just had a bad dream. So you took me with you to Mars, even though I didn't want to go. Yeah, why didn't you leave her back? She's a bitch. There was no other way. They would have caught you, found, everything out, found out everything you know, and then killed you. Well, again, she's a bitch. So you just decided to abduct me? That's a lousy thing to do, Luke. Just send her back, for God's sake. And you can't call me Luke. We have fake ideas now. I'm Lucas Walker. Lucas Walker. And you can't call him Luke. Ah, and you're Eleanor. Eleanor, Eleanor. Wait, your first name stays pretty much the same, but I have to be some Ellie? If you think your name is bad, mine is Otto van Augenthaler. Wanna trade? I still can't believe you did this. That you decided to go over my head. But where are you thinking? I didn't want to get you killed. You stupid woman. Please, darling, can we talk about this later? When we're alone, we're about to learn. And you come down until or I might have to slap a bitch. I don't want to calm down. Abducting me to Mars is a lousy thing to do. Man, you wish you had left her there, I bet. Look, Helen, I know that we did to you wasn't nice. You're damn right it wasn't. But there was no other way. No other way? No f other... I'm not... Uh, my, my channel is child friendly. No other peeping way. We are all in danger of getting killed, Helen, and... Psst. 
Huh? Her name is Eleanor now. The new ID is, don't you remember? Uh, apparently not. Damn it. No one asked me if I even wanted a new name. Please keep it down, the both of you. Why is it my new name? Oh, for Pete's sake, someone kill this woman right now. Or I swear to God, I will do it. Without falsity, we would have never made it off the planet. Then we should have just stayed in London and got killed. We had, had we done that, Nanotech would have made sure we can talk to anyone. They would have killed us. They can just kill people just like that. The police would. They've got the police in their pockets. Most likely some officer would have shot us in self-defense. There must be some people who could have helped us. You underestimate the power of Richard Mild IV. None of us know anybody who could reasonably protect us from a multi-billionaire with an industrial empire. He's right. And we should have made everything public. I mean, a conspiracy this large, there must be entire armies of journalists willing to kill for a story like this. I doubt people will be believe us. I mean, look, even you hardly believe us. Well, that's because she's a bitch. We had Tanya. We could have shown them what Tanya is. The moment we had shown Tanya to a journalist, Maya would have known he's controlling the media networks. All communication flows through him. And you couldn't Tell her that just, you know, before you made the whole point. We could have contacted one journalist in private and arranged for a personal meeting. And how do you contact a journalist without using the network? Just visit him in his office. You mean go to one of the network offices where they have a more direct feed cameras than anywhere else on the planet. And besides, who says that this one journalist you're trying to talk to isn't part of Maya's personal network? He's a celebrity. Most journalists would sell their souls for one interview with him. Hmm. Listen, Helen. Eleanor. Oh, come on, Tom. It's Otto. Then remember our new... It's okay. It's okay, Lucas. Otto, I give up. Let's just get this over with. You're not longer angry, Eleanor. Oh, I am angry. Don't think I'm just letting you get away with this. But, as I said, there was hardly another way. You're right, there wasn't. I see your point. But you still shouldn't have just forced me to come with you. Yes, right. Because right now I wish I wouldn't have done it. Or at least my alternate personality in this game wouldn't have done it. I'm sorry, I just wanted to save your life. I know, and that's the only reason I'm why I'm willing to forgive you too. Phew, thanks. That doesn't mean you don't still owe me a few big favors. Ooh. Like, if this planet has French cuisine, you better take me out to a really nice place. Ha, <laughs> alright. I don't know what they have, but I'll make it up to you. And you better show me some effort, or else. Okay, okay. <laughs> and don't think I've forgotten about you, Otto. Uh, looks like we're not getting out of this mess on skate, but at least we're surviving until we land it. The rest, unfortunately, is not a problem. We disembark from the shuttle and get through customs without any sort of trouble. Well, unless you can't waiting in line for over an hour is trouble, because that's what happens. <sighs> oh, Tom, you look like an high schooler suddenly. Also, didn't you have this very different dress? I mean, you looked very different. Also, Helen looked very different, but uh, I don't know. What's that taking so long? You said we had hardly any luggage with us. Oh, what did they do to you, Luke? You didn't look as bad back then. Yeah, I have no idea what's with these people. No one seems to be in any kind of hurry. Yeah, that's the Martian. The Martian spirit. Always be calm. At least they brought us some drinks, but still not even a place to sit down. Technically, standing is not as bad as it could be. The lower gravity actually feels quite nice. Well, yes, it's not exactly uncomfortable, but... What? Something feels different and I can't put my finger on it. Well, it's easy to see what's different. In the lower gravity of Mars, Helen's breasts are lighter too. We're going that route again. Oh, please. No. No! No! With the expected effort on how much they sack at the moment, not really much. Blech. 
Hey, what do you think you're staring at? I'm staring at the saving screen because that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to save and end this episode right here with second hits. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, for whatever reason, this game and this episode, leave a like and comment or just comment or just subscribe. You know, I'm getting really close to my 100 subscribers milestone and would be really, really, really thankful if we reach that. But until then, um, best regards from the pals. Bye!